room and I think it's all foggy. Good morning, everyone. Whew. We are out here on a Wednesday morning. There we go. All right, good morning, everyone. Um, it's Wednesday morning, and we have some planting to do. I'm not gonna lie, our routine has been pretty bad the past um, couple days, if not weeks. We have been getting up really late. I don't really know what it is. Maybe it's just this whole quarantine thing. But we woke up pretty early today because yesterday we woke up late and went out to work and it was so hot. We were out working in the back fence. Uh, well, working out in the back on the fence. Uh, just repairing it a little bit. And my goodness, it was hot today. We are um, planting. We're going to be planting cucumbers today. We've already planted quite a bit um, lettuce, peas, and squash and zucchini. Um, and then we've started building these raised beds over here. These raised beds. We originally planned on doing was our gardens. We're planning. I want to make them all the same. Right now they're all 50 feet long by 30 feet wide. Um, so I was just gonna do a 48 foot garden bed. We're gonna have like three or four just 48 foot long ones. Um, but I decided to cut it just, these are 12 foot boards, so we're just gonna do four by 12s. Um, I think it looks nicer too. We're gonna be planting cucumbers today. They're looking pretty good. I think they can grow a little bit more in here. Um, but the roots might be starting to get bound up. So we're going to plant those. I'll show you how we are doing it here. One of the things I didn't even think of when we were planting all these seeds was if our beds are 50 feet long and we can only plant every foot or so, like say for the cucumbers or for the tomatoes, you can plant one a foot apart. That's only 50 plants. And right now we're using 72 seed flats or flat, 72 seed trays. So, not all of the cucumbers grew, but we have about 60 something seeds. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Where's the walkway? Really quickly, I'll show you our garden setup. We've got a 50 by 30 garden um, covered in this polypurethane ground cover. It's a woven ground fabric, um, so it allows water and air to go through, but doesn't allow the weeds to come up, which is why we have to burn holes for the plants. We got it surrounded by this uh, Premier One chicken fence poultry net. It is 164 feet long um, and then right here we have a an eight foot poultry net a uh, poultry gate right here I've never bought this before um, but it's really nice it's really easy to get in and out of the garden and it keeps everything else out um, that was amazing plus it's it's really cool that with the fence going all the way around. Um, well, let me explain. 
The garden is 50 by 30 itself, and then we have the walkway around it uh, where the fence is. So the fence is exactly, with the gate, it matches exactly up with the garden. And then for these viney plants like peas or the cucumbers, we just have this stock panel um, and tea post. We can fit three stock panel on this 50 foot section. So it works pretty well. Just been using this propane can with this blow torch on top. Um, I think we got this torch at Atwoods and then you can find these propane tanks anywhere. I think we got it at Home Depot. You just turn it on. You might be running out of propane in this one. Um, it has this lighter. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we just get this. So these are the holes for the uh, for the tea post um, that we're gonna put the stock panel on for the cucumbers to grow on. We'll we'll burn holes for the cucumbers after we get the paneling on. So what I just did was measured out 18 inches between each one. Mm -hmm. Now we will burn holes at each location. Water break. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot out here. Alright guys, we just got all the cucumbers planted, 33 in one row. Um, we're gonna work on the next row soon, we just we ran out of stock panel. We've been using this stuff everywhere, so uh, we're gonna just keep going. We're gonna hook up the water line and get them watered because they're probably really stressed right now. Um, but yeah, 33 plants of cucumbers, we're gonna be having cucumbers come out of our ears. Try some pickling. Pickles. Yes. Pickling, pickling. Pickling, pickling fresh pickles. in our in our salads. I don't know. I don't know. How else can you preserve cucumbers? Freeze them? I don't think so. I don't know what you do with them. Oh, our garden is starting to come alive. Literally and physically. So. I'm so tired of my hair being in my face. 